It's showtime, baby. Let's go. Woo! Strawberry Ice. I'm your host, Ash Man, Jeff Trenopole, and it's always a bring you sports from a West Side point of view, right here in the great city of Cincinnati, Ohio, home of the original Major League Baseball team. What's going on? Welcome to the show on this glorious April 1st, Monday, April 1st, 2024. Happy April Fool's Day. And it's this guy's birthday month. Jeffy's birthday month. So I'm very excited. What's up? Make sure you, since you found the show, hit that like and subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. I am live streaming on ZTV, Facebook, X, Rumble, Twitch. And if you're checking it out on the podcast, or you want to see it on the podcast, or listen to it on the podcast, on BeanPod, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, Google, Stitcher Play, pretty much wherever you get your podcast. Please make sure you rate, like, and review. Hope you guys are enjoying this rainy Monday. But, you know, if you have some nice new windows in your house by Meyer Door and Window, you can look at it. Through nice, clear, clean, crisp windows to help you stay dry for Meyer door windows. Make sure you go check them out at www.meyercinti.com. They do free estimates. They're a great family-owned business. So please make sure you check them out. And as always, you know, the best barbecue place in the city. I know Greg's down for it. I know Chop's down for it. I sure as hell know Cap's down for it. It is Midwest Best. We know Corey Dillon's down for it, too. Midwest Best Barbecue. Check it out. Go check out the CTB Wings. The G Funk, the pulled pork sandwich, and one of my favorites is the chili when he has that every once in a while. And get the ribs, they are delicious. My West Side Peeps, if you're ever in Shivit, check out Hail, Hail Mary as your ticket to the game. Go there tonight, go watch the Reds kick the Phillies' ass on that giant TV screen. They got beer specials all the time. Check them out. Hail Mary's your ticket for the game. What is going on for everybody in the chat? Who we got in there? We got Brad's in there, strangers in there, caps in there. Cap, you're on the show and you comment. You always confuse me when you do that. Rocket Bagel's in there. Paul Painter's in there. And Michael Madden. All right, guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter weekend. I had a very busy Easter weekend. But listening to the Reds hit back-to-back -back homers to walk off win yesterday was unbelievable. Jonathan India, 10-pitch at bat. He was down to his last strike and got a double. Will he be bad? Will Benson. Jacks won to center field. Then CES hits a no-doubter. The Reds should be 3-0. Just saying, if David Bell would take him, Diaz out, she should be 3-0. But anyway, let's get to my guest for today. If you guys are looking for Corey Dillon, fortunately he is unable to join today. Well, maybe he will. We'll see. He's having, I don't know, NFL Hall of Fame problems. You know, he's he's moving his classic cars. You know, I would love to find out what that's like sometime. Hopefully, maybe, Corey, if you're watching, you'll hook me up. I'll, I'll get to ride in the classic cars. But anyway, let's get to my guest today. He's got one of the best beards. Not the best beard. One of the best beards. In Who Day Nation, he is Bengals captain. Cap, don't you want to have uh, CD's problems? You know the 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 classic cars. You know, I, I would like to have that problem, wouldn't you? I, you know, we we've got to find out more about this. I don't know why this is the first time I'm hearing about it, but I want to know more. Like, I just now I've got this Vin Diesel vibe <laughs> from Corey <laughs> Dillon. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing fast and furious, doing the doing the drift, driving him around. Corey to... Diesel. Corey Diesel. Yeah, you, oh, oh, there you go. You know there what? You Diesel. Gotta, mm. I like that. I like. Oh, I see. We, we got to work on that. We'll work on that. Hey, let's get to the man, the myth, the legend. He hasn't been on the show in a while. I am so happy he's back. He's none other than B S G. What's going on, Greg? Just wanted to let you all know I'm not dead or anything. Thank God, I was worried about it. Now let's get to <laughs> the man. Who likes to make lamps? And he was making a new lamp uh, before the show. It's he's very he's embroidered. I mean he's 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 getting into he's very cultured man. You know the most interesting man 
in the world. My friend, your friend, he's pork chop. What up, chop? I thought I was gonna be first when you were talking about the best beard in the Bengal family. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Just because my shit turned gray. <laughs> I got seniority cap. Step back. I got you seniority. You got seniority. A, dude, you we got all, a beautiful beard though. We all know who has the best beard though. You you know who has the best beard, right? Uh go ahead, Cap tell. Gary Faulkner. Exactly. Hey, That's today right. though, since Corey's not here, look. Now you got the jersey wow. on. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. I that like it. Pretty. Ring of honor. I like it. Hey, oh, Ring yeah. of honor. You know what? I fucked up. Now I got to order another one because you know the Ring of Honor game is going to be the whiteout game, and I order right, it. right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll have to. Get, we'll have to get, get. I have to order one too. We have to make sure we all are wearing the white CD jersey. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two Corey Dillon jerseys is yeah. not a problem. Yep, not, no, no, that's not an opinion. That's a fact. Yeah, I'm, I need to I'm, reach out to uh, Cook to see if they can uh, do some lettering. I have an old practice jersey. Ooh, Ooh there you go. It, there you know, go. I miss anybody with Bengals uh, or the the pro shop. I, I, I miss the random stuff y'all used to sell. Like we we go to a draft party one night, and they've got a little uh, little spinner outside of the little uh pro shop setup and it's all you old practice jerseys mm -hmm. and they were like 20 bucks 30 bucks what? each oh dude what? They, they do that again. i thought i was gonna die i'm like You're i'm kidding. gonna get broke like i, I want to <laughs> buy every single one i only bought hey. two as to not be a jerk and and leave stuff for everybody else. They eventually sold out, so I'm glad I only bought two. <laughs> Greg's face. I'd have been a jerk. You, you, you AF. been a jerk? Why am I telling us this now, Cap? I would have been a jerk <laughs> AF man. I would have had to have twenty bucks for a U-Haul. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Are you uh, kidding me? Hey, one, one thing I, I think this is this is. I talked about CD's cars before. Brad was. He said, "What kind of cars does the CD have?" I I don't know. I, he's told yeah. me a couple of them. I know he's got a Mustang. No, he does. He's got a Camaro, man. It's the totally opposite of a Mustang. He's got Camaro. A I think, I think, Camaro. I think yeah, I oh, here, here we go. So oh, the 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 first one I got some autographs on it, but oh, oh, nice. man, that. that is sweet. Nice. And it's it's huge. Wow. I got, I got the I don't know. Yeah. That little thing. There you go. Still so, got the tag on it. Hey, but, twenty-five uh, bucks right now, man. A little five-dollar handy profit for you. I got some old. Why is that not friend? Now, here's a fun why thing. Why is it not that, hanging up? It's better. better right. Yeah. Dude, I have so much stuff. It's funny. <laughs> I just retweeted something from Heirloom. Yeah. Uh, and, and they do great framing. I need to call them, but I'm terrified because I probably got about four or $5,000 worth of framing that Jeez I need old. done. <laughs> and that hurts. That hurts you, bad. You're you're going to need a house just for all your Bengal stuff. Yeah, yeah Cap, hey. rent another house, man. Just so, hey, so I, this is funny. My cousin was telling me this this story. So there there's a guy. You can collect beer cans, you know, different decades and stuff like that. Well, there's this guy apparently in Asheville, North Carolina, that has the world's largest beer can collection, where he literally built a house right next to his house that has all his beer cans in it. That's what Cap needs. And then the guy rents it out for an Airbnb and makes like four hundred dollars a month on it or something. That's what Cap needs. Montoya. So, yeah, I'm 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 struggling here though, and it's it's a funny story. I can't see it. Uh, what are we looking at? I see lots of yeah, stories. I see so, Ma my Max Montoya, I think. Yeah. And who's at the very bottom? Uh, Max Montoya. I was gonna say Max Montoya. Oh, yeah. looks like we got because. Twice. When when you go back in line on another date and Max Montoya is there again, he's you saying, don't tell you. him he can't sign again. <laughs> right. You have him sign it twice. Yeah. So, so for the podcast listeners, Cap is showing off his jersey with all his autographs. He's got two Max he's doing Montoya's. the subtle flex. Subtle flex, exactly. Subtle flex. So I, I I will bring up this comment here from Paul Painter. How how about Marte hit or Martini hitting that uh, second blast at five o'clock sharp on opening day? That was. Dude, yeah. I, how how fired up are you guys for the Reds right now? To my opinion, they should be three and zero if oh, yeah. David Bell would have taken Diaz out before he blew the 
the game, but he didn't. But we came back and won yesterday. How, how excited are you guys right now? Go, go ahead, Greg. I'll let you go first. So as I was telling Jeff before the show, I'm like, okay, we're down to our last better batter, uh, India. I'm like, okay, he gets on base. So I'm like, yeah, I got to go get some, some beer from the fridge, you know, for a family gathering. I come back, sit in my seat, and I'm like, why is Benson wearing the Viking suit and, and high fiving people? I'm like, holy crap, this is a tie game. Right when I sit down, CES just wins the game. I'm like, what just happened here? <laughs> Yeah, in a good way. It happened, dude, it happened so fast. Like I, said, I was driving back from Ab- Abbs County. I was driving there, going to my sister's house for Easter. There we go. Uh, there, there you go. go. That's it. Go. It's I the like Cincy it. hat version. I like it. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, are you are you saying you're horny for us, or are you just like the horny? I'm horny AF. Look at that. Three <laughs> three of you. Oh, there's three of them there. Yeah. Nah, right. <laughs> Who's right in the middle? Uh, uh, Greg. Greg's always in the middle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just don't drip any of that barbecue sauce on me. Exactly. No, here, I'll, I'll, hey, I'll there drink you go. Midwest there barbecue. You go. Right there. Midwest best, baby. Greg will advertise for your All sponsors. Right. I got a here. quick question. So, so when Jeff throws up somebody's comment on screen, is it like translucent for y'all? What it say? Like throw throw up uh, one, one of Chandler's comments. I'm trying. It doesn't want to go up there right now. Yes, it's very translucent. I can't yeah, even can't see it. it. Well, I okay. can't get any of the comments to come up now. There oh, we go. Here it is. There oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is translucent. Okay. Is it? I can read it fine. Are, you can yeah. see it through the background of it. Yeah. I can't. It, yeah, you so, can. So, you Jeff, can see where your you, is there like a it? color behind it? It's black. Yeah. Uh, it's translucent on my cap. Do you have a so Mac? No, I got the computer Chandler built me. That's uh, crazy. Atlanta Brown was good on Good Morning America 3. He was talking about supporting type 1 diabetes this afternoon. There you go. Oh, snap. Look at Chop. Lasers. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That That's yeah. translucent, too? I, I mean, can see through it, Cap. I can it's see through it. You, you, it says Chopper. I can see, yeah. Yeah, you and I can words. see behind it. Yeah, but I, that's the thing. Yeah, I can see, like, I see the, the Jackpot Joey logo behind it right now yeah. in the corner. Yeah. Barely. So yep. if 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 it were a light gray, I wouldn't be able to see it because it just blends into the background. Huh. I'll have to, yeah, I remember you told me right. last time I just, I just had not gotten a chance to <laughs> check this out. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's the the brand uh, portion of uh, what is it? You t- you hit B on the keyboard to get to the the brand stuff, and then you can yeah. change. And yeah, Paul said it looks good on this side. I don't know. Oh, that's uh, that's wild. Yeah. Well, I, mean, hey, I can hey. see if I, I can. I I'll mean, I see what you're saying. For you. yeah, I can see what you're saying, but I mean, it's. I think it's always been like that. It's always been kind of a little. No, it has. You can see the words. It used to. It used to have a solid color background. Really? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'll have to, we'll figure I'll have to out. We'll figure I, I, out. I've been. I've been busy with with That's ZTV doing today. their magic behind the scenes. Yeah. Man. You don't yeah, even know, man. You can Z- pop on this show and ZTV done something else. Too. Yeah, Joey Joe Carr spectacular. Joey Carr's changed something up on me. I don't. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> you made a translucent uh, background on the comments. I'll have to. I'll have to figure it out. I don't know. So, uh, are you guys? How do you guys feel about the red, red season so far? That's what kind of how I was trying to start this. How, how you guys are two and one? I mean, like I guess we should be three and zero. Oh. I'm kind of excited about it. World Maybe Series, trying- buddy. Yeah. World Maybe. Series. Even with all the injuries, I mean. Thank God we didn't trade Jonathan India. Yeah. <laughs> what about I mean, happy hour, man, at Great American Ballpark? Martinis for everybody, right? Yeah. Exactly. Oh my God. Oh, exactly. it's been great. It's been it's been so much fun. I mean, just it, it reminds me of last year. Last year, they picked up right where they left, left off last last year. They were never out of the game, and that's the way it's been all three. I mean, hell, the game they blew. They came back and scored three runs to get the lead, and then. It Diaz was the it. defense, man. There were so many Ellie. errors on the Never. defense. It was horrible. You take away half those errors, and we win that game easily. Yep. Yeah, you, you say, I got it, and that's that. Well, <laughs> one of them, though, where Ellie reached out and grabbed that ball, most shortstops would not even have caught that ball when he threw right. it and he missed the uh, CES. When he threw it the first, mm-hmm. most shortstops wouldn't even caught that ball. So that I kind of figure that one's like a mulligan. Shouldn't even happen to anyone. Well, yeah, was, go ahead, yeah, oh, the other thing is, like the the uh, they, I don't think they were in double play formation, were they? In the ninth, that ninth inning Saturday, where Ellie just missed it, where he dove for that ball. I don't think they were in double. Were they in double play format or not? Or I, I wasn't. Well, I was listening to it on the radio, so I, okay. I don't don't know to be honest. 
Yeah. Like Andrew sure. says, man, they took the first series. We won the first series. Exactly. That's all that there you go. There you go. All right. I'm trying to change something up here. See, let's see if this does anything for you, Chop here. Let's see here. Is that better? Oh, you change now How's you can't that? see behind it. Is that better? Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. You see it? You see that? See that there, Cap? It's still translucent to me. Is it really? It's I can see solid white there. That one. It's solid That's white. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Brad, you can still see behind this comment. It's white. It's a white, solid white background behind it. I can't. Do, I can't see it. You know oh. what I can see? You know Lasers. what? <laughs> <laughs> now, now I can see it. There, there's a there's a combination of a setting that you had and my browser. Ah. Now I can see it great. Ah, there you go. I only got one browser. I don't. I'm not fancy like that. I. I barely know how to turn this computer on, Cap. You could fully take advantage of me if you knew my IP address. Oops. I already know your IP address. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Cap can figure it out. <laughs> knew it. Hey, we got the fireman in. Mom, Come what's on. going on, baby? What's up? What's up, bud? Yeah, they're gonna be you're gonna be three and one tonight. Hopefully, hey, when they the, beat the them. red the Reds are just gonna be that team. Yeah. You know, until they figure out I, I'm not worried about errors until they figure out the pitching thing. Because you know, I had a conversation yesterday. People forget that, great, Diaz was all-star, but he had a couple of those games that got away yeah. from him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there it was. Well, so, that's where I, I get sit tired of David Bell. It's like, dude, sometimes, he, sometimes he's got such a quick hook. Yeah. That's the time. Have a quick hook. Because right. he did not have it. You can tell from the kick. He walked the first guy. He didn't have it. Listen. Diaz scared me every fucking time last year. <laughs> yeah, he here. I mean, right. And he would always yeah. load the bases up. And right. then somehow he'd get out of it. It just didn't happen the other day. I like, remember. He's, he's like Joey B. He likes the pressure. He, he, right. he wants to exactly. be down. Well, he'll, he walk right the batter, he'll just get you nervous after walking the first two batters. I mean, he'll get out of it. But a lot of times you can't always rely on that. Yeah, we got. Hey, I'm excited about this this weekend, guys. We got we got WrestleMania. Yeah, I heard you go down there with Dawkins and defend uh, – so yeah, I, I, if I, I I thought hey, you said get the tables, man. I, I, That's I, what I'm saying. Get the. I tables, was down. Man. I said we get Corey, Dylan, me, Chop, Greg, Cap. We'll all be down there. We get, we have Dawkins back. I, I, you know, I don't think anybody. Let's go, can. man. Uh, Somebody uh, help me in the ring, though. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a boost. I don't, I don't think anybody took me up on the off. Uh, off I need right? help I, getting out too. I I, I even. <laughs> I even DM Angela told him he said we got your back. He said LOL. He said thanks, fam. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, like, you like every white guy in the NFL. Ring. I am sneaky athletic. <laughs> I am not. Exactly. I am sneaky non-athletic. <laughs> like I, I can take one that. bump, but once I hit the ground, man, I ain't getting up unless you pick me. Oh, I'm gonna just roll out the ring. But dude, how much fun was realistically? How much fun would that be for all of us to walk out of WrestleMania behind Dawkins? We're like, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, I, baby! I would, yeah, I would take a chair. Oh God, yeah! Like, let's go. Let's. I would be all over. I shoot. You can you throw me I'll out the ring. I don't care. I'll go through right a damn table. <laughs> yep. I'll, I'll go. I go through a table if I could be out, out of WrestleMania. That would be so much freaking fun. If we do, uh, Greg will do the dot bot right in the room. <laughs> no, we won't be doing that. No, no, no. I'm retired from that. Oh, you can teach the whole WrestleMania the dot bot. Hell no. A new trend. <laughs> God dang it. I'm trying to put that thing to rest. That thing got <laughs> before prom. Greg, you that thing got unburied. To stop. I'm trying prom. to bury it again. You're digging it up again. Stop it. <laughs> uh, so, but you know what? Yeah, go, go, go. Talking about retired. What the hell? Did anybody watch LeBron James? I heard about it. No, I didn't watch it. 48, really? what, 48 points last night? Dude. Okay. How old is he? 39, uh, 39. 39, yeah. Mm -hmm. 39, okay. Corey Dillon's not that much older. Right? <laughs> Corey, well, I'm just he's, saying. He's 10 years, 10 years well, older. Ten, he's 10 years. 49. Hey, 10 years is nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, in that, I'll, I'll be, in that I'll be, case, be, I'm about the same age, too. <laughs> yeah, I say, I'm like, I'll be 49 Dude, here the 14th. Listen, so like, like, Corey's like, like not much uh, more – He's not much older than him, and I'm not much older than Corey. Then basically, I'm that's like how math works. Also. You, you <laughs> that's got it. That is, hey, that is an <laughs> Einstein theory somewhere. I swear. I appreciate <laughs> it. I'm not good at math. Uh, I, I was, hey, I my, was... my birthday this year. I'm 39 too. I'm just gonna 39 is going to be that age. I'm just going to stick with the rest of my days. I, that, that, All right. I, I'm. I'm. I'll be 30. I'll be 39 in April. Just add 10 years to it. 
<laughs> I mean, in reality, I, I, was, I also did just celebrate my 13th birthday this year. You did. So. I mean, so you're actually the youngest of all of us. Yeah. That chop. I mean, yeah. you know, in all reality, you're only 13. So I know. And you don't, you, you don't look a day over 12. Been to three WrestleManias? Yes, he's been to three. What? Like, that's. That is yep. crazy. That's God. a subtle that's flex, cool. man. Damn. That is awesome. God. Damn, he must live in California. Yeah. I would I would love to go to one WrestleMania. <laughs> it's like the Super Bowl of half naked men. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally the underwear Olympics. That does sound good. Hey, <laughs> He's got a three of them. Hey, Equal MC Chop. Yeah, that's great. I like yeah. that. RB one. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. If you if you want to talk talk math, talk to my son. Yeah. He he knows math. I I, I don't know anything about. Uh, there there. He's doing. He's he's taking the engineering up in Miami, and he'll do some of his math equations. I'm going. Huh? Yeah. When when people get on me for uh, throwing out the occasional Ohio State Buckeyes love, I I went through calculus at OSU. So I you know I'm not just a Buckeyes fan. I'm not even I'm like a lukewarm fan. I'm a I'm a weak fan because uh I, I don't I don't cry when they lose. I cry when the Bengals lose. Mm-hmm. I don't cry well, when the Buckeyes lose. But I am a proud University of Cincinnati dropout. So I went there so I can there actually go. claim yeah, all right, right. <laughs> I'm gonna drop out too. Woo-hoo! Yeah, baby. I gotta tell you, I've never stepped foot into Tiger <laughs> Stadium, Death Valley, but go Tigers. Go Tigers. They go, did go not Tigers. have uh, a football team at the nursing school that I went to, believe it or not. It's oh, they weird. Do. All right. Uh, so Paul here says. There's a joke there somewhere. I just somewhere. don't want to say it. Pa- Paul said Pack ran a 4-5-5 uh, four, four, five, five at, at 40. Oh, yeah, was, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, well, he shoot, was what, floating. What wow. did Terrell Owens just ran something like that not that long ago, too? He can still run. Well, that's because he's taking that tea, that <laughs> testosterone. You remember the commercial with Doug Flutie? <laughs> Big that on there? He started taking that tea, man. That speeds yeah. you up. Uh, Pac Man might me, have some too. Let me ask so, that, so that's what we got to do. Iceman's got to get, you know, uh, welcome to, you know, Sports Strawberry Ice brought to you by Tea Properties and, uh, <laughs> well, Myers Windows and uh, Coconut Hellberries. Testosterone. Testosterone, exactly. <laughs> Myers Windows like, Doors, Hell Mary, Midwest, Best, and t- Testosterone. <laughs> All <laughs> Testosterone. This is about, since it's we're it's talking about. Since we're talking fighting, pretty much, who's going to win between Mike Tyson and Logan Paul? Tyson. Yeah, Tyson. Yeah, Tyson. So, so Logan's juicing. There's you no think? doubt in my mind. <laughs> there, there's no way. He, remember when he was younger? He wasn't even that big. He's pretty right. huge, dude. And 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 Logan, like credit, he's put in the work to. I mean, he's not going to be pro. Like he's not out there fighting right. for for legit titles. But, but it's Tyson. It's Mike Tyson, but, dude. See, here's the thing. Did yeah. did you see have any of you seen the video of Tyson? Yes. Oh, oh my god. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh my dude. god. Yes. The like, the dude. man's hand speed. Still yeah. there. And like this they said on, on, on the oh my god. like you said on that the movie The Hangover. He still got it. Yeah. Dude, he still got dude, it. Dude, I th- no, you know, when I was younger. And and I didn't have any money. It's Jake like, Paul. You know what? Not Logan. It's Jake Paul. Yeah, it's, yeah they're Paul. the same. They're both yeah. Chad. I don't care. Right. Um, when when I was younger and I didn't have any money, I'm like, you know what? I'll get in the ring with Tyson. And like, you can you can buy. <laughs> okay, there we go. You that, can buy. My son is this big. He's skinny as hell. He cannot take Tyson. <laughs> you can buy physical therapy with all the money you could get from a fight. Now that I have a little bit of money, you couldn't pay me enough. To, right. to get in the ring with Mike Tyson right now, and I can oh. I can box. I used to box. You can pay me There's enough. No way. <laughs> Chop yeah, like not my ass enough. out. <laughs> Chop like not. I me mean, out. I'll even try to throw a punch. I don't give a fuck. He can hit me like five, six hundred times for <laughs> the right amount of money. I don't care. Chop. It would, I don't think it, it, it you, I don't one. think you're going to get five, six hundred. No, times. it would take one. one. Well, and you'd be out. Like hey, leave. Even if it's the end for me, man. At least it'd take care of the kids, right? <laughs> you'd be a Paul Creed. You'd die in the ring. That's fine with me. I mean, take care of the kids and the wife, man. I sacrifice. Which, by the way, if if speaking of boxing, if y'all haven't seen the the Creed, the new Creed movies, fantastic. I, well, I haven't seen the third job. one yet. I, 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 I've not I, seen the third. I haven't one. seen the third one either. No, I've seen the first two. No, the, the, the first two were good. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of uh, boxing and roids, though, have you seen um, Conor McGregor in that new Roadhouse? Talk about someone hit the fucking juice. Jesus I, Christ! I want to see that movie. I, like it I, sucks. I 
Don't waste Does, your time. Okay, did did you did you watch the first one, the original Roadhouse? Hell yeah! Who didn't watch did, the original Roadhouse? Did you like except, that? Like, I did it. Yeah, it was, it was great, dude. It bombed oh, when it first came out. Eighty nine. It bombed. It's it, awesome. it was not a good movie. Oh, I mean, I, it's it, it's a cult classic. It's like yeah. Yeah, it got, now, how many years later? It, it's, <laughs> It was the movie he did times. after Dirty Dancing. That was well, I got to tell you, if you're one of those people out there that think the original Roadhouse sucked, they didn't make it any better. They fucked it up <laughs> even worse. <laughs> I said it Conor McGregor, I'll probably love it. Conor McGregor it. might be a big name to have on there, but that dude needs to stay in the ring. He cannot act. If, if he's juicing up to go into wrestling, don't give him the mic. He's horrible. Horrible. So, reluctant Cat here says he would never fight Chavez. We got boxing stock. Roy Jr. said Mike hits... Uh, you, it all hurts. <laughs> yeah, I don't care for the right amount of money, man. I mean, we're not talking like seventy five dollars, right? And speaking of another guy, we're not fight. Um, did, yeah, uh, but, did Timmy, oh, go ahead. Now, chop. You can go on OnlyFans and make more than that, and not have to get knocked out. <laughs> what do I have to do? Show your feet. Fuck, I got bare feet right now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't yeah, need to validate. I'll that. give a sneak peek if you want. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We're good Andrew, job. yeah. Andrew's call out Terry Funk. Yeah. If I get, Man, if I get that, an OnlyFans, I'm sponsoring this show too, Terry Jeff. I'll oh, part dude. of your 20 minute intro. It was a shorter intro. I tried to get through it. Brought quick. brought to you by Pork Chops Feet and, and Matty Myers Windows. <laughs> so, so, Matty Myers Windows. <laughs> so, hey, and, then, of, and then show uh, a video of you opening the window, unlatching the foot. video with your toes. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. There we go. Let's get this shit going. T-shirt alert. Oh, God. Oh, God. And so, so speaking of Terry Funk, I don't know how much wrestling fans you guys are, but do you, do you ever remember it was like 88, 89, Terry Funk and, and, and Ric Flair where that, that was the first, uh, Ric Flair said this on his, one of his biographic things he did where he took a power driver and went through a table with Terry Funk. That was the first uh, uh, hardcore thing he ever did. I don't know if you guys ever. I remember. I saw that one live. I, I, Dude, I was like two it. years old in '89. So sorry. Chop. Chop. The, 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 were you, did you? Do you remember that? Cap. Do you remember that at all? I don't. I remember didn't that watch a lot of the WCW stuff back then. I well, did that, read Ric Flair's autobiography. Uh, not autobiography. He didn't write it, but I read his biography. Yeah. Well, see, WCW stuff actually was easier for me to watch because it was always on Saturday night. I not me, watch. man. I lived out there in Harrison. I needed a lot of aluminum foil and people to stand in certain <laughs> spots in the living room to be able to watch WCW. I had to tell my little brother, uh, Tiny Jeremy, we call him Butch Man. I don't know how he got the nickname Tiny, but I would have to tell him, like, go sit on that cushion at the couch and don't yeah. move, you know? No, yeah, yeah. Andrew's right. It was NWA back back in that those days. Yeah, yeah the 88 was NWA. I, I couldn't watch that one either. Whichever one it was, was not W. Uh, well, it was NWA in the '80s, and then they switched it yeah. to WCW when Turner bought yeah, it. He that's when I WCW. started tailing off. Like I used to watch old WWF uh, a lot. I grew up on that, and then mm -hmm. when it got weird, I just nah. Yeah, I watched it from uh, like from like '85 to like '90. Then I kind of tailed off. And then uh, it's funny, like when I got married in '97. That's right when the Attitude Era started hitting, and and the Monday Night Wars were going on. And dude, I did not miss. I flipped back and forth between. Raw and Nitro, that was that was my Monday nights. I and I, and then when football came on, I had three different things to flip between. So it was, it was awesome. <laughs> Oliver here says, he goes, we had two TVs, one on Raw and one on Nitro. <laughs> That's one way. Back in the day, man, they did you. You know, now you could just record it and go watch them both. That's at different times, but yeah, well, you can find it somewhere in the internet. You can rewatch it from the the, the other night and watch it without commercials. <laughs> so. It's uh, it's different. So, guys, I haven't got a chance to ask you guys' opinion about that. I've got because I was on vacation and different stuff like that. But what is your? I know caps. I'll, I'll ask Chop and Craig here. How, what's your opinion about the Bengals' offensive line now with the signing of Trent Brown? We got the the Brown of Brown. What could Brown do for you? The Brown Tins. The Brown Mountain. Yep. Brown Mountains. Yep. Mountains. Brown Tins. The Brown Tins. Uh, I'm excited as hell about Trent Brown, but I keep going back and forth with 18 that. I think they're going to draft the right tackle, but then I'm like, if Newton nope. or Bryant Newton. is going to be there, I keep saying Bryant. Who's the other guy's name? But uh, Texas A&M guy. I always forget his name. You know who I'm talking oh, about? Sweat. Murphy. No, Murphy. 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 Texas, yeah. By the way. Yeah. Byron Murphy. Yeah. See, I always want to call him Bryant. Byron Murphy or Newton. If one of those two are there, yes, I think they might draft that and then get a, get a right maybe. tackle. Huh? 
They're difference makers. If you're talking yeah. about Byron Murphy, you're talking about Johnny. His name's Jerzon Newton, but he, he said call him Johnny. So I'm going to pay that man his respect because he earned it. Unless he goes to the Steelers, he's fucking back to Jerzon. <laughs> Johnny Newton. Johnny Newton's a difference maker, man. Byron Murphy is, is great, but Johnny Newton is a difference maker, man. He is elite. He will make a huge impact on the first game. The first game he plays, if he's a Bengal, he'll make a difference. I'm telling you. That's why I keep going back and forth. Got, if he's there, I, I don't know how you don't Brown, draft him. They said, this, is, this makes sure that we don't have to go with the right tackle right off the bat. Now, if for some dumbass reason, Joe Alt falls to 18, let's do it. Oh, yeah. If, if, yeah. If, Joe, if some reason, he's you got to take Alt. Yeah. That, that's, but there's but anything there's, there's other than no Alt. You got, a couple, you got a couple offensive tackles that if you just give them a year, or even mm -hmm. a half a year behind um, Trent Brown, I think that mm -hmm. they're going to be great. Yeah. Um, you know, my, my opinion, look, I'm never in my life going to get mad at drafting someone that's going to protect Joe Burrow. Never in right. my life. If we go offensive line at 18, that's fine. But like what Chop was saying, we're trying to win now. Newton mm -hmm. can provide that for you, be an, be an instant force immediately. Now, if you say if you drafted someone like uh, Mims or Latham at 18, I'm not going to be mad or anything because I'm not going to be mad, no, because they, no. they, they, they'll be ready. I think the next year if we let right. Trent Brown go, yeah. and exactly, and you know, you know, Trent Brown, he, he, you know, he has injury issues at times, so it gives you another backup option. But like I say, overall, it has to be within the trenches, either in the offense or defense side of the ball. That's just my opinion. But who knows if there's a corner sitting there that that's high on their list? That's fine. Brock Bowers, I'll be cool with it. What I wouldn't never complain about giving him another weapon, but. I said, I'm with Chop. If you can get that difference, because I yeah. love Sheldon Rankins, but I'm scared because we did not sign DJ Reader. We need another, we need that three man rotation like we right. had right. with BJ Hill, DJ, and, and Larry O going to the Super Bowl. We need that. We haven't had it. If you get Johnny yeah. Newton there, it's hey, bad. Johnny Newton there, and then use one of our second, uh, our, uh, our extra third round pick and mm -hmm. use that and jump up and get Trevon Day Sweat, dude. Yeah. Boom. Oh, Defense dude. Me, fixed. me oh, and Chopper right. heading down to Texas, uh, that Texas Longhorn Steakhouse. So if we get both, both, if we get Murphy, yeah. it has to be Murphy and Sweat. We're heading straight down to the t Longhorn Steakhouse. And if we so, don't get them, we're probably going to go and get Steakhouse. We're going to go in anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go anyway. So, so, so if they get them, you're going down there with your shirts yeah. off. If they don't get them, the shirts are going to be on then, right? Fine. Who <laughs> cares? <Yeah. laughs> Not only that, but Greg will do the dot bot dancing on them crushed up hey. peanuts all over Who the floor. Who cares? <laughs> exactly. All right, Chad's got a question. He said, with the switch to at OC, do you see Burrow taking more taking more of the offensive plays and play calling? No, um, you know, I mean, they'll, I think they'll take his opinion. I don't think it's going to change much when Callahan was here. You know, if Burrow, if there's a play Burrow likes, then yeah, I'm, I'm cool with it. You know, whatever, whatever works, I'm cool with. It. Bur Burrow's already got a ton of say. Yeah, he's all, always had a ton of say. Yep, he'll he'll continue. Chop, we yep. no, I, I I agree. Yeah, uh, Joe Burrow is going to play his game. To tell you the truth, like um, part of Joe Mixon leaving that without them going with a number a full true number one and going running back by committee shows you that they're going to put the ball in Burrow's hands even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I, I I think yeah, I think Joe's. I really don't think a whole lot's going to change as far as what Joe does. I do think. I think there's going to be more wrinkles in the offense because you don't have Joe Mixon. Because you don't have – I know, Cap, you think Tyler Boyd, but right now we don't have Tyler Boyd. If we don't re-sign him, I think that's going to put more options of people over the middle. Gusecki, I think Jamar Chase, uh, Yoshivas, uh, Chuck Chuck Sizzle, the running backs. I think there should be – I think it could be a more uh, interesting or imaginary – I don't know if I can talk right – imaginative offense – because you're not going to have to have the same three wide receivers, you can mix and match more. My opinion. So they've wanted to, they've wanted that for a long time. You right. know, each year, it's it's been a couple injuries here and there, critical injuries here and there that have kind of set them back. But they want to get to more motion. They want to get to more play action. They want to get to more variety out of similar sets. Mm -hmm. If you look, if you watch that evolution. Heck, I mean, you you look at uh, Andy Reid and uh, KC. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. We're talking about that uh, about them now. How long has he been their coach? He he was the one and done coach, just like Marvin Lewis for the longest time. Mm -hmm. You know, and it wasn't just having Pat Mahomes come on board. It was what 
the ability that Pat Mahomes had. Now, some of what they wanted to do, from from what I understand, it it, it didn't work necessarily the first day. Right. So you kind of have to shelve some ideas. You have to put some ideas on hold. You have to get people used to an offense. It, it's it's not a simple offense. It's definitely not a simple offense. Right. Well, I think it, it, um, can, it can be more diverse. It can be even more complicated offense now, I think, because you have more weapons. Well, it's, really... it's, it is okay. complicated now. It's easier to introduce more complication, more complexity, more, more variety. Too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because people understand because right. – the, the the core of it is it's not necessarily you know verbiage terminology it's what are we looking to do against these different looks on the defense if the defense gives you this how are we looking to change the play that we called in order to take advantage of that and it not everybody's going to be on the same page from day one so right. they built that up and it's it, it's better like oh Joe Burrow is hurt it would have been, it would have been we would have finally started to see i mean we started to see it against the 49ers yeah uh, well, 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 you 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 cussed you cussed that, that, that no i yeah that's i don't something. i don't have a hatred you no, hear them I, dogs I, going off soon as he said 49ers and hell what the hell Diesel. so uh, we, we, cat, you that would have been the rest of the year so Rebecca's got a good question here, and I, I yeah. think they will. He said, "Will they continue to operate more in shotgun?" It certainly, it certainly like seems it. that way with the backs they have. I, yeah, I, I think we're going to have more, uh, more of the backs coming out of the backfield and catching more passes than than we used to. I think it's going to be more. They're going to run our, our backs like Christian McCaffrey does with the Sucky Niners. Uh, that's where I think it's going to be like. But it's, it's going to be you know a combination of Chase Brown and and Zach Moss. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Paul says he'd be shocked if they trade up. I'd be shocked in the first round, but at second yeah. round, let's make a difference this year. We got that extra third round pick. I mean, if you take that third round pick, wrap it up with pick 49 and jump up a little bit to grab a guy that can make a difference on our team this year. Mm-hmm. I, this The thing is, though, man, everybody stop thinking about the way that the Bengals used to be because right. Marvin Lewis started breaking that mold. Marvin Lewis did a good job laying the groundwork, and then Zach Taylor came in here. This is not the Bengals from 1980 or 1990. This is a whole different regime, man. You know, the kids have taken over. The grandkids have taken over. Mikey's stepping back. He's he's kind of he's he's got the final say, but he's letting them run the team. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This is quit thinking like what the Bengals used to do, cool. and let's just like embrace what they're doing now. That we're our team is doing things that other teams have been doing. We're catching up. People are excited. It's not the old regime. Quit making comparisons to that. Exactly. Chuck, I, I want to ask all three of you this question. So within the first couple of days of free agency, Bengals fans are just lo- – like some fans are just losing their minds. Like, why aren't they doing anything? <laughs> Man, we can't <laughs> talk about this. <laughs> they I know. do it every year. <laughs> I, I know. It's like, why aren't they doing anything? And I sent out a tweet one time where I'm just like, let's just trust the system, yes. stay calm. And fans were just coming at me saying, how can we stay calm and all that and stuff? We have a right to come at them. You know, the look on Duke Tobin's face, he looks like he doesn't care. I'm like, how the hell do you know what Duke Tobin's face? Dude, that, Dude. Yeah, Tobin that face. stuff, that he stuff was, honestly cracks me up. People are like, oh, my God, look at his face. Like, what a Those fans, what, what, what's that have to those do fans will take a photograph of Joe Burrow on the sideline. Said, look, he's already been Bengalized. He's already broken. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. yeah. I'm like, you know what? You don't know that I'm not. You catch me some sitting down, whatever, in a still photo in the suit and stuff. I look angry. You don't know that I'm not trying to squeeze out a fart. You have no <laughs> clue what's going on here. Right. But fans will do it. It blows my mind. But it's like I say, it's just like trust the process. They're, they're like, oh, they, they don't care. Like, they, they don't care about winning. They're, you know, they're just sitting on. How do you know what they're doing behind closed doors? Uh, you know, go I back mean, to Facebook. <laughs> go back to Facebook. <laughs> By the way, we got 288 people here uh, watching. I appreciate it. I only got three likes. Can you, can you give me some more thumbs up? I'd appreciate it. Now, Oliver has a question here. Um, any concerns about Burroughs' wrist? Only having 80 percent flexibility post surgery. Absolutely none. none. Zero. He's Zero. ahead of schedule. Yeah, he's ahead of schedule, of schedule on his he's, recovery. He's throwing already. So, he he's working out. Yeah, I I'm, have no concerns. Go ahead, I I have approximately seventy percent wrist flexibility uh, from when I practice Wing Chun because a lot of the warm up in that art is wrist flexibility. So no, I don't. I don't. 
like some people, you know, see, can, can you guys, how, how far can you get your, your, your hand back? How Holy are Jeff, are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. <laughs> you know, everybody's, everybody's different. Stop. Jeff, are you I okay? Hey, look, I man, if there's some... anything that st stays in good condition on me, it's the wrist. <laughs> He's got. He gets, it gets work, I might have. Gets worked out I might have the best wrist in the tri-state area. <laughs> he does his wrist exercises every day. But but legitimately, <laughs> legitimate. I'm not looking at that. I'm not. I'm, I'm not looking at that. I did not see that. So like Wing Chun, a, a, a strike is the back of the hand. So that that is part of you know uh, having a strike. You know, you're you're using basically the top of your wrist to make contact. There's a lot of work that goes into it. I'm nowhere close. So yeah, you, a man you, doesn't get a bullet. You, yeah. you like Joe, Joe Burrow's new mullet? I think I think that's that's yeah. an awesome look. Props to Bengals social media team for for that. <laughs> right? and, uh, I was not trying to one up them, but I had already done that Photoshop years ago. I I have the card. Uh, with a guy with a Mustang, the striped lift. Oh, I think it's badass. I've seen I have that. his card. Yeah. He, he hangs out Longworth. Yeah, if I've anybody seen ever it. wants to see the car in person, oh, go to dude, Longworth sweet. To, to tailgate. He's a cool nice. dude. The car yeah. is amazing. The car is amazing. What's the car? The oh, he's at Longworth? Mustang. No wonder yeah, I didn't see it. it. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, no. I, I posted, uh, if you if you haven't actually seen it, it's – it's. have you seen the striped Mustang lifted? I don't know if I have. I don't think I have. Chop, chop it doesn't go along with it. Mustang. Go, go, go to go to Cap's uh, uh, Twitter feed. You'll see it. It's, Let me, dude, it's it badass. I have to go off of YouTube. I went on there, Jeff, so I could throw you a like. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, I got I 400. That's the way I do, man. Thanks, Chop. I appreciate you, man. You, you, yeah, I try to take yeah. care of my friends. Oh, yeah. 293 people, four likes. Like, what the hell? No super chats, no nothing. Like, geez, oh. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just kidding. But yeah, the, the the Mustang is, dude, it is awesome. I saw it. Was it last year or the year before that? I can't remember. I was down at Longworth. And I think it was. I think it was the year before last. And it, it dude, it is badass. I, I sat inside it and and saw it. It is freaking cool. Oh, dude, dude that's it, fucking badass. Yeah, Greg, have yeah. you seen it? No, no. Here, I'm looking up Cap. Cap, it's on your Twitter. You said. Yeah, it's on Cap's yeah. Twitter. So all no, 294 people stay on the on YouTube, but go go to Cap's Twitter and look, <laughs> look, look, look at the Mustang. <laughs> so, so of course, you know, I I had to Photoshop uh, Joe Dirt's facial hair and 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 mullet. Yep, there it is. On to Joe Burrow. I thought I did a decent job. I think job it's there. awesome. Like, Damn. Yeah. I think Not the yeah. Bengals should probably hire you for part of their social media team. Possibly, I'm just saying, maybe a little side gig. PR you know man. what? They Cap do such have time an amazing do job on their own. They don't Cap need to. But I will say, some of their ideas have come from seeing my Twitter. I, I won't say how many, but even just one is just a huge compliment. If it, any of their ideas came from my Twitter, the NFL would probably file <laughs> charges they, against the Bengals. If that happened, they, they, Bengals would instantly block you. There'd be four locos at the concession stands. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then the Bengals would block you. Block chop. Hashtag exactly, block chop. Exactly, right. I wouldn't be able to get in the stadium. <laughs> Jungle locos. And by the way, for speech, we're talking about drinks. Um, went to, went to the point about Midwest Best. We talked about the whole chili thing with Mountain Dew, but I remember I, Cab, I just tweeted this out. Midwest Best does serve Mountain Dew and Coke. So just so you hey, know, I, I'm with Matt. His idea for for the season ticket, a piece of the turf. Hell yeah, I wish they would yeah. do hell that. Hell yeah, dude. yeah. I'm I would so, love to so have. Da yeah, they should cut it out in like doormat sizes. You know. Yeah. What I'm oh, that'd be. Oh, dude, that'd be so sweet. I put it right down here as you walk into the ice cave. That'd be freaking badass. Yeah. There you go. I would totally, totally be for, be for that. I've got a piece of a uh, riverfront. I would love to have a piece of. I'd love to have a piece. Of Riverfront's probably a lot easier to walk on because it's probably like about that thin, right? Yeah, there's not much. And there's no, it. there's none of that. No beads aren't in it. Let me. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's getting more. Matt's in the end zone the early. I'll take, I'll take any, any piece of the end zone would be cool. Yeah, no, it would be yeah. cool. I mean, I'd like that part of the stripe or something. I don't even give a shit. If uh, I got just green, that'd be fine because I would probably like. Hey. Paint uh, on get it, a paint stencil it. and like spray paint white on it, like Paul yeah. Brown hey, Stadium. Hey, Put it up, not spray paint pay a, a little green to brighten the scene. <laughs> <laughs> well, issue two did pass, Greg. I didn't know you partook. 
Hey, Rebecca said her neighbor has red seats mounted on the side of his house. No, some wow. people do sell that. those seats. I'm gonna try to get the seat that hey, I go in. Chop, you, have you seen the the seats? That, if you go down go down 50 down River Road, there's a I think it's a restaurant or a bar or something, and, and they got, got a hill on the sometimes. side, and they got to cut some of the old blue seats oh, up there. Yeah, oh. I don't go that way, man. I turn up Fairbanks. You always go past there. Oh my there you god! Go. Oh, oh nice. look at that. Nice. Man, how'd you like to get tackled on that comfortable shit? That's Corey, Corey Dillon. That's why he's right? in pain now. <laughs> that Corey Dillon, hey. That Corey Dillon's to ass might have touched that, that yeah. turf right there. Chop. Cat. Or, or cat. Take a sniff. Bring that turf down and people can, <laughs> people can sniff the seat in Big Fancy and they sniff that turf and see if there's a, a similar smell. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm inspecting. Where's Corey at, man? We need, we need to find out about these cars. I, I want to yeah. know what kind of cars he's got. Corey! All right, all right. If, you're, if you're watching, tell Tori to screw the car. She come on for five minutes we, and we tell need, us. We need photos oh, on I want, uh, photos. Instagram. I, I want to see these cars. I've heard about them. I want to actually see them. I'll, he's got Jeff a link. Oh, he's got do... That way you can see him. Huh? Call him on FaceTime. <laughs> he's not going to see answer. these cars. These yeah. so-called cars. Right, let me see. I, he, he ain't going to answer. Let me see. Probably like No. Don't fan. bother him. Don't bother him. No. Let, let, let him joking. post on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. That'd be yeah. great. All right, I won't call him. I was going to, but never mind. I know he's got a Camaro, but I, it's, I don't know if it's a – I know he's got one that's not classic, like his daily driver. He told me he got a – and he's got two convertibles. I know what the other one is too, but the one's a Camaro. And I think that yeah. – I want to say they're both white. Am I right? He might be. I, don't, I thought – dude, I swore I thought he said he had a Mustang, but I – No, Camaro. Let's see here. Uh, let's see our Bengals don the orange helmets with white pants with a black stripe this season. I will, I will, I will call Elizabeth right now and I will tell her if I had her number. I would, but I, I don't. Cap, I got her number. Orange she, helmet, white her. pants, black stripes. What about yeah, the jersey? Is it black? I say go all orange. There you go. He's got an orange jersey. There you go. I say just go all orange, and that'd be so cool. I I think that would be I cool. Am and all, for all orange. orange. Yes, that's that's the one I'd like to see. I, well, yeah. I'd see the old orange, and I like I, I like it. One game is, is a throwback uniform of the old, the Dude, old pumpkin head. The Ring of Honor cool. game every year. I wish it was the throwback to the yes. old original, yes. Yes. original uniforms. Yes. One game, Ring of Honor yeah. game every year. That would, that that would, would be. That would I, mean, be cool. I don't. I don't ever want to go all, go back to those uniforms you right. know, all the time. But I want like one game a year or something. Like that would Ring be cool. Ring of Honor because I think they wore them. What was that? Ninety seven, ninety six. They wore them. How about switch it up every Ring of Honor, and you know, depending on the decade, because we've got a, a combination of yeah, yeah. You know, well, could, like, could like, you like, imagine right, bringing so, back so, the so say Corey get well, not say Corey's getting into Ring of Honor this year. Yes, they should put where where the the Bengals uniforms he wore for one of his two record breaking uh, performances. Oh, yeah, how about that with, with, put, with put the leaping tiger, leaping tiger, and yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh. And then make it the Patriots game. Yes. 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 That would be awesome, dude. Yes, dude. Yeah. I love this. Oh my god. That would be perfect. We talked. We talked about that last Monday. Making it at the Patriots game. Actually, Corey said he's coming to the Patriots game, even if it's not the Ring of Honor thing. Yeah. Awesome. So we could we could get him twice. Yeah. There you go. I told him he just needs to buy a house here because he can come visit us more. Yeah. Exactly. Right yeah. here, man. Houses aren't real expensive in Dallas. I, I told. Yeah. I told him it's cheaper. Well, Arlette liked Tide Park. I remember we were driving around Hyde Park by the Sissy Church. She's like, oh, I like this area. We should buy a house here. I'm like, yes, you should. I, I think yes. Should. <laughs> hey, we'll come visit, man. They yeah. Got a, yeah. Uh, Buskin, Buskin's like one of their only places left is up around there. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I think it would be, I think it'd be cool. Was, was, I was trying to get uh, AC, the Godfather, was on my show Friday. I was trying to get him to move here, too. He's like, you know, it's, it's cheaper than California. He goes, that is true. <laughs> I'm trying to get AC. A little bit. Too. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and, and Anthony seems very California, though. You know, like some oh, people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, his whole family's out there. He's he's not going to move here. But like, I'll try to get him to come into town again. He's he said he's we're going to try to make it to, to a game this year because he hasn't been back since uh, the first game, Minnesota game in twenty. I think it's twenty one when, when he was at that game. Well, that was the last time he was here. So hopefully, one of these days he can uh, show back up again. All right, Reluctant Cat's got it again here. He says, all right, orange jersey has black stripes and white pants has black stripes. They won't – they haven't worn that yet to my attention. Was it orange jersey has black orange stripes? Orange jersey with white pants? 
Well, it says I think they do usually, usually wear the black pants, pants with the orange jersey, don't they? White pants with has black stripes. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know. I, but I, see I, what I, I can say, find. I like the all orange. That that would just be. That's the one. That that's the one I think would be cool. And I still. They wore the, okay. So they wore both. They now they they wore the uh, orange jersey, white pants, orange stripes, hmm. and they've worn uh, orange jersey, black pants, orange stripes. But not white pants, black stripes. I still want them to do the helmet like you got behind you, Cap. The black helmet with oh, yeah. orange stripes. Ooh, I think that would be cool. Was so like, that would be sweet. What that if it was like sweet. all black, black on I love, black, I love like it so much? It's just that, it's it's menacing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be sweet. There's so many different color combinations and stuff they could do. It's 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 not even funny. But that's it's bad. Black ass. on black. That is black, awesome. Black on black, outlined in orange. That would be cool with the orange that outline. Would, yeah, that would on be the cool stripes, too. just like yeah. all solid black orange outline. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would be menacing too. I'd be down for that. What's up? You I like, like that word, menacing. Menacing. Dude, menacing. that name's elite. That is pretty cool. I like bacon. I like bacon. I like bacon too. Bacon. Is I delicious. love bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and and love pretty bacon. much, if if you have an animal and you can slice off a piece of bacon from it, I'm probably going to like it. So turkey bacon is great. Oh, yep. Dude, turkey bacon, pork bacon, any of it. I said, if it's bacon, I like it. Bacon. Is, bacon, bacon does bacon, anyone bacon. make any, like, is there like cow bacon? <laughs> yes, there is. Beef bacon. Really? Yes. And I've had really? it. It's delicious. Yes. There's a, uh, one of the nurses at work doesn't eat pork. And so she let me try this beef bacon. It tastes like regular bacon. It tastes like p- uh, pigs. Really? Oh, it's God. really, it is. It's good. It's strange. Pigs, pigs are, are magical animals. Magical animals. Right. <laughs> yeah, pigs are magical animals. They convert vegetables into bacon. <laughs> Basically, when you eat bacon, you're kind of a vegetarian uh, by proxy. If the pig only eats plant material. What's Cows, the it's like being vegan. They eat the plants. We eat them. It's. I mean, you know, we're it's, doing it's our circular. Part. It's circular. It's, it's not only that, it's, but can you circular. imagine hitting hitting a cow on the road? I mean, we God need to control them. that population. <laughs> destroy your car. You destroy big fancy. What, what what am I photoshopping? I don't know. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah. If you know what he's talking about. Oh. Photoshop together. The combos. The combos. There's just oh. an O missing. Oh. Like, oh. Put them in them uniforms. Oh, I got you. You know what? Yeah, real quick while we're doing the show. Yeah, come on, yeah. Cap. Come on. Let's go. Come on, come on, get them fingers to work. So I did, uh, I've done some in the past and then there's so many other people have done, uh, different combinations that I, I'm pretty sure we could find it on, on Twitter. It's somewhere on Actually. the internet. Somebody's redone it. Yeah. I guarantee you that. Yeah. I loved it. My, my one with, uh, Corey, uh, the, uh, the reverse, the, the white and the black got a lot of love. And then of course I, I hid my little, not because I, I, I care too much. You didn't put a ton of work, but I just wanted to see how far the photo would go. Mm-hmm. So I hid my little ugly face somewhere in there. It's really hard to see. And Everybody's, it was amazing how many people took it and then reposted it. And then I caught someone saying they did it. And then my face is in there. And that was a separate side conversation that no one saw publicly, but uh, you know, it, it's interesting. I know what you're saying there, Cap, because I had a T-shirt of when Jamar said, I'm open, I'm always fucking open. And in the picture I used, you could see the reflection of the scoreboard in his visor. And so I put my little chop shop emblem in the scoreboard real tiny that you can't like you probably there's no way you can look at that shirt and see it because it's so pixelated once you zoom out. But, yeah, <laughs> my little tiny logo is in there. And I did another one where it says squad goals and they're in their uh, – locker room and i put something where the clock is with my logo on it yeah sneak just little easter eggs yeah i got a question i got a question for all three of you for ring of honor i think we all can agree one player we're all voting for i think it's pretty obvious Corey, but the other one i mean for me it's lamar paris who's the other one you 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 those are my I'm, two I'm with you. I'm with you on Lamar Parrish. I voted for Lamar last year. So yeah, I'm, yeah I'm I worked it out with Corey Dillon on Twitter. I'm voting for him three times. Yeah, I'm same here. I'm gonna try to vote for as many as I can for Corey. I yeah, said I, I'll do it twice. Corey said, why not three? I said okay. So I'm doing Okay, it. I'll do it four times. 
just to one-up you. Corey Lamar said, well, that's fine. I can only do what Corey tells me to do, Jeff. I mean, he told me three. I'm going to do three. You well, he got, he, Have he you got, seen the man? I'm not he, messing he, with him. He got mad at me last week when I, I said I said the I said the all-time uh, leading rusher in Bengals history. He's like, uh, excuse me, the greatest, because I always call him the greatest running back in Bengals <laughs> history. I'm like, oh, all right, my bad, my bad. You're right, the greatest running back in Bengals history, which, which I mean, I'm not lying, he is. <laughs> Fact. Uh, so, even, if, even if I was still on my fuck Corey Dillon, I couldn't deny that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm not. So end of May is when we, right around that time, is when we'll vote. Right. So just as a reminder, yes. I'll, I'll put it out in the calendar. Um, that is oh, when we Corey. will be voting. Corey. Oh, Corey Dillon. Ring Super of honor. honor. I don't care. Honestly, I don't care who else you guys vote for. Vote for Corey twice, yes. three times, four times, five times. Vote for Lamar, Lamar Paris. That's fine. Vote for Corey Dillon. Corey Dillon should be in the Ring of Honor already. So yes. exactly. And I, I Parrish was one of mine last year. So mm -hmm. you know, I've I have for the past how many years tried to do one newer mm -hmm. and that's, one. That's why I am. Yeah, exactly. It, you know, and I hate to say it this way, but I don't want anyone. To pass before they get the right. opportunity. Right. That's sad, man. Mm -hmm. It's sad. Yeah. Yes. But, but at the same Riley, time, man. there on, are man. guys that really, really need to be in, like Corey, mm -hmm. yep. who is a an absolute pillar of everything that we've done. Like without Corey, I'm I'm a hardcore fan. I'm as hardcore as it as it comes, but you take Corey out of those teams. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I mean, hey, There's I like watch. watching Harold. <laughs> I like watching Harold Green. Right. But it was it wasn't Corey difficult. Dillon. It's a whole different story. I don't remember what happened in those games back then. I don't know that I was 100% uh, attentive during those games back so, then. So it's funny you bring that up. I, I remember I in 1992, I think, whatever, whatever Shula's first year was. I think it was 92. 91 or 92. It was it was Harold Green and and Derek Fenner I think were the two running backs, and the Inquirer had this this on the cover of Sports. Fenner was from the Seahawks, right? Yeah, right. yeah. I think I think I really think they start off the season two and zero. I think and David Shaw is up like this, and it says the Bengals offense hammer time with with uh, Fenner and, and and Harold Green. I had that newspaper uh, article up on my my bedroom wall. So I, so as soon as you said Harold Green, my brain instantly went back to that. That's <laughs> I remember yeah. that. I mean, bigger, yeah. bigger back. He he could carry some people, but uh, it wasn't Corey. So, mm. Robert, uh, yep. Bob, Bob Trumpy. Trumpy. Yes, I, mm. that Absolutely. is the that's the killer for me. Right. I am going Parish only yeah. because Changed the me. tight end position. Exactly. Did he? Wait, yes. Parrish? You mean Trumpy? Trumpy changed the the tight end position. Yes. I think it became, became more of a, a, a receiving. I think I think Trumpy goes into the hall one day as uh, one of the media contributors. Oh God, yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. going there yeah. But Parrish goes in as the player he was. That yes. dude was absolutely so. I, I'm I'm giving I'm giving Parrish the nod just just because of that Hall of Fame pedigree to help push him into Canton. And then Corey, I mean, Corey's a Hall of Fame back. I mean, it, it just is what it is. Uh, reluctant Carl brings up another good one, too, is uh, Lapham. Yeah, yeah. Yep. that's another good one. He said, can we get three former players in? I, I, that's, I, we, we should get four, four, not gonna do four the next four years. The thing, they, I keep saying this. They need to up it because we're going to run out of time. Right. I mean, these, one, people are going to start passing away. Two, right. we're going to have some of these other guys that we're watching right now and they're going to be ready to get the ring of honor. And we still haven't gotten everybody in that should already be in. That's And that's I'm going to pass away one day, too. I want to see him get and in. We're to, and we're going to get Chop in the ring of honor. Yeah, you know? we'll I mean, in the ring of honor. <laughs> we're going to grind Chop up, and, and he's going to be the pellets in the field. I'm going to be the pellets. That's a good idea. <laughs> I would do I would, that. I would totally do that. Somebody gets them in their eye. Oh, yeah. shit. Is, I got Chop in my eye. Chop in my eye. Chop in yeah. my eye. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. T. Brooks, get him before they leave this earth. Exactly. That's, you might that. be onto something, Cap. We need to start a business. I mean, they're already, you can get your cremains <laughs> in a tree. Hey, talk you to, talk do, to me, Al. I think out your cremains. Let's do the Cre turf pellets. Cre <laughs> cremate yourself into turf yeah, pellets. Yeah, cremate yourself into turf pellets, and we'll, <laughs> we'll, whatever team you rooted for. Rest in pieces. Rest in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> 
Rest in peace. <laughs> Hurry up and trademark that because somebody else is going to see. How many viewers yeah. we got right now? Uh, we should have kept chop, it quiet. Chop, that, that's our that's our T-shirt for you. I can tell you. I can tell you right Ch now. Chop in pieces. Oh, dude, no, you have Greg uh, riding the the lawnmower or whatever. Uh, rest in pieces. <laughs> it's, it's, me, it's me as a duck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, he's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> or he could be chasing me with a chainsaw and like a, teen, yeah, a, teen, yeah, like, yeah. As a young girl in college, scared of the, the chop, chainsaw. The chop just booking it like, oh, yeah, uh, ain't no booking <laughs> but, it in my game though. It's a, it's a back to the ring not even honor. A brisk walk. You know, think about it. Like, I I feel like there is because of the '90s. Right. We're we're right now we're begging to get these guys in quickly, and yep. and for me a lot of it is because of the the older alums to make sure that they can see, but we get past that little, uh, backlog. We, if, if we did four a year, we're, we're going to end up in a weird conversation. Yeah. I, you know, I, I don't want to say that it could be potentially people in the ring of honor who might not deserve to be in the ring of honor, but it's going to be a weird conversation. Well, because you don't have to do four, four for forever. Do it for, no, do it no, for like four or five years. Three, and then three, yeah, three or four back. years, yeah. yeah. Then well, you go back. And I, I think they've thought about that. And and they look at, like, the 90s. And there's a big problem because mm -hmm. <laughs> so many years of, you know, for example, okay, a highlight uh, for us was Jeff Blake. And and people forget Kitna. People forget that one of Ocho Cinco's best years ever was Kitna throwing him the ball. Yep. He led the AFC and Kitna was his quarterback. People forget it that. It was. It was. But does Kitna deserve to be? Probably not. Yeah, no. Right. Exactly. Does does Jeff Blake deserve to be based on sole contribution? <sighs> I'm leaning yes, but yeah. I'm heavily I'm biased. yes, but that's that's that yeah, that's hard. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a conversation. Yeah. So with that, I hate to cut this off. I have got to be somewhere at seven o'clock. I just realized we're over <laughs> an hour. This has been so I've been having so much fun talking to you guys. Stay tuned. Right. So yeah, we're gonna this, kick off the next yeah, Monday so we, yes, with the with Ring the of same, Honor conversation. Yes, yes the same are. conversation. Yes, exactly. To be continued. Yeah, I, 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 dude, honestly, I appreciate this. This has been so much damn fun. I'm looking like, oh, leave it on a cliffhanger. Yeah, I, I got, I gotta go. I got, I gotta, this has been such a hectic day. I gotta be somewhere at seven. So, Chop, guys, this. I appreciate you guys. Good, good, good. Great. We got Chop, make sure you call off work Monday. I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> yeah, right. It's just yeah. that you're sick or something. Uh, yeah, we'll you, see what happens. I don't you, even know if I work, but I'll check. You get strawberry, strawberry itis. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just uh, be tweeting. For, I'm, I'll be in the chat from Big Fancy, if nothing else. There you yeah. go. All right, well, check out Bagels and Brews. You guys got any, any guests or anything come up this week? Or you got any special Yeah, we do. Anything? We got Who Day Baby on Who Friday Day at 5 p.m. There you go. The original fan the original. of the year, Who Day original. Baby, Friday, exactly. Bagels and Brews, 5 p.m. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, I, I do. This has been so much fun. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for joining. Greg, jump on the show more often. It's so much fun having you on. <laughs> Later, guys. See ya. See ya. Cap. Yeah, you got to hurry get the heck out of here. You got, you got any final words of wisdom you want to say? No, love y'all. Go Reds and who day? It's almost draft. I know. We're, I can't wait. We're almost there. It's I'm going to be on the over. bridge soon watching players. I can't freaking wait. It's going to be so much fun. Exactly. All right, Cap. Love you, brother. Who day? Love you. Who day? All right, guys. Like I said, I'm sorry. I got in this. I got to be somewhere at seven o'clock. So I appreciate you guys watching. So 321 people watching. That is awesome. Five likes. Hit the thumbs up. Please share it out. Subscribe to the channel. And please go check out my sponsors for the show. I appreciate every single one of them. Let's get to them here. They are, if I can bring the pictures up here. Uh, Meyer Door and Windows. Please make sure, if you guys are looking for any windows and doors, check out Meyer Door and Window for all your windows and door needs. Midwest Best Barbecue. The best. I like. Look, I'm a West Side dude. And then we got a lot of wings places around here. Midwest Best is the best. I mean, I, I'm not even saying that because they sponsor my show. They're literally the best. I love their freaking barbecue. Go check it out. My West Side peeps, Reds will be starting here very, very shortly. 640, I think, is uh, first pitch. If you're in the West Side, everyone should be. Go check out Hail Mary's. Your ticket to the game. they got a giant-ass TV screen to watch the game on. Beer specials, shot specials, all kinds of stuff going on. Make sure you check that out. And, of course, you know, we got... 
T Properties, because that's sponsors the Ice Cave. Check out T Properties for all your rental property management needs and your rental needs. And, of course, the greatest quarterback in the league who's coming back, Joey. Jackpot Joey. Revenge Tour starts next year. Actually, it's already starting. I can't wait. You guys have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure who should be on. Hey, maybe I'll try to get everybody back on again and, and we can finish the conversation that we uh, started. But you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscription. Share it out. Appreciate you. That's your sports, baby. See ya!